Reverend clergy, let me tell you a very, very story that happened in the early 60s. Because when you said pass the bill, I was thinking of the voting rights bill, I was thinking of the civil rights bill, and that bridge that the pastor was talking about, that Pastor Rivera was talking about was the bridge of clergy and labor, politicians and good people throughout this country. I can make an admission in church with God listening to me, that when I was asked to march from Selma to Montgomery with my bad feet with 54, <laughs> 54 miles, I didn't intend to finish that march. I had no reason, I had no idea where Selma was or why I was marching. <laughs> but God really allowed us at the end of that long march to see that the bill was passed. I, I am telling you that I had no idea that that march was making history. But I want each and every one of you that are here tonight to take a deep breath and realize you are making history. This combination that you have with William Roberts and the union leaders that are concerned, the only reason you have any minorities that are able to get a living wage is because of the unions. It's because of the unions. And to have God on our side, no matter whether it's from the mosque, the synagogue, the churches, or wherever, how can we lose? And let me tell you this, it's not just the compassion of a mother and a child and the self-esteem of having a job. And if you give a living wage and allow people to live in a decent way, they will go out and purchase the things that they need. And that means they're creating jobs as well as what they do. And so I want to thank my colleagues for allowing me this opportunity. But I don't remember... Congresswoman Verdorito comes here, or certainly uh, my councilwoman, uh, Inez Dickens, uh, the author of the bill, uh, 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 Councilman Capel, and my colleagues that are here. We are so honored to be a part of a movement that is not just the economic and right thing to do, but this is the bridge that's going to lead us out of war. This is the bridge that's going to save our kids from bullets. This is the bridge that's going to have us to do the moral and the right thing. This is the bridge that's going to stop people from shooting each other when they disagree. And I feel, and remember what I told you, I had no idea I was making history. And that's what we are doing tonight. God bless you, sir. You can come down. We got to witness this. And we got to win it too. Thank you.